Hey guys, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's gonna be a little different. It's not gonna be makeup. It's gonna be my first book review video and it's going to be the three core books that I think make up a big part of how I see the world. So you guys will get to know a little bit about me too. And a special thanks to Ellen Emerald. You are such a sweetheart. Thanks so much for being so supportive and liking the fact that I'm going to be doing more than just makeup reviews and makeup related videos on this channel. All three of the novels have been pretty popular, so I'm sure you've heard of most of them. And the first one, the satirical novel, is Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. Wonderful novel. As a brief overview of the plot, it's about a nameless narrator who suffers from insomnia, who who at first goes to group therapy sessions for people who are suffering from cancer or brain parasites, a whole range of things, to experience what real suffering was because his doctor said that insomnia wasn't real suffering. And then he meets Tyler Durden and the book takes off from there. They start a fight club and that evolves into something greater, into Project Mayhem and it's really about breaking apart society's expectations to find what you want. That's, that's how I see the book anyway. It's about the modern insanity, how we're so inundated with what society wants us to want. And we forget that we have a choice too. We have a voice and we should use that voice. And I think that's what Fight Club's really about. It's about breaking apart what society thinks is beautiful and finding out what you as an individual want out of your experiences here because it's not going to last forever. I really look at the author's writing style. I think that's what really draws me into a book. And Palinuk writes wonderfully, in my opinion. It's very poignant. And if you've seen the movie, I personally think that it captured the book perfectly. This one's definitely the best interpretation of any book. Palinuk is great with one-liners. The plot's great. I, I adore the plot. But his one-liners, I think, what really gets me and if you read the book, then you definitely know what I mean. There's some really, really poignant stuff in here. I think Chuck Palahniuk writes with great intensity. It's a relatively short book. Watch the movie, read the book. Everything about this is wonderful to me. And the second book is a semi-autobiography. And it is it's Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Albert. It's one of those books that, you know, you're supposed to read when you're in ninth grade. And... I moved around a lot. I didn't get to read it in school, but I bought the book anyway and I read it. It changed me when I read it. The basic premises of this book is Mitch Album. He's a sports journalist, I think, at the beginning of the book, and he finds out that one of his old professors from college, a long time ago for him, is dying, and he goes to visit him finally, and these are the final lessons, I guess, and it's really about giving and making sure the people around you know that you care about them while you still have the chance to say that. And it's about being vocal and making people feel important, making sure they know how you feel about them. It's about acceptance. It's about, it's about love. It's about love. You're making people feel loved expressing love and I think that's a really important lesson for everyone because you all have someone that you care about and someone cares about you and it's about making sure that people know that you're there and that you care. His writing style is very straightforward. This one's really about the message. And I remember reading it and writing a note to my dad and writing a note to my mom telling them how much I appreciated them and that's when I really started to express myself more. It's a book that'll find a place in you and it'll stay with you. Definitely worth reading. So the final book, which is also a semi-autobiography, is Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. And it's about one woman's journey for a broken marriage. She goes on a year-long trip, first to Italy, then to India, then to Indonesia. And she learns something different in each one. I have learned so much from this book. It's one of those books that I pull out when I feel lost because there's a lot of wisdom in here. 
and it's from her experience so you don't feel like she's talking down on you you feel like she's sharing this with you you're learning along with her again this one's not about the writing style it's not so much about that it's about the message and i felt a connection to her when i read this book and she's not shy about sharing herself and it's very disarming it's not a difficult book to read it's not a difficult book to read emotionally or on a reading level but that's only because she's accepted all of these things that has occurred, all of these struggles that she's been through. And I think that by, that by writing this book and, and by reading this book, you get to know her, you get to know yourself. And you're going on a journey with her. And she's a great person to go on a journey with. She helps me find my way. It's a very spiritual book as opposed to a religious book, which you know, some people might have troubles with when they're reading it, um, but I didn't have much trouble with that. I really enjoyed it. I thought I was going on a journey with her. And like I said, when I feel lost, sometimes I pull this out and, and I just go through it. So those are the three books that make up a whole lot of my core values. And this is my first book review, so I'd love to hear from you guys about what you guys want from a book review. These are pretty general strokes and, you know, there's always room for improvement, so please comment down below. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.